Right boys, how to lose fat and build muscle or improve, make progress in any area of the four most important areas of life, belief, health, wealth or relationships. So today's video is about systems. Anything you want to make progress in, create a system that makes it inevitable and carry out that system every time. So anytime there's a system in place, it's it, you're able to run on autopilot and not think about it. There's no choices uh, to decide whether to do this or that. You know what habit is going to create the outcome and then you create a system so you don't have to think about it anymore. So you, create, you do your research, create a system and then it's on autopilot. So I'll give you some examples. So um, yesterday, so take for example um, a diet one. Yesterday I had to go to Winchester and I was sort of driving all day and travelling, getting the boat. And I knew my diet was going to be, that could be an issue. So the reason I say this is because I've I've messed up in the past and now this is how I get round it. So I had to get the boat, go drive, like do some driving, get the boat back. I knew I was going to be out leaving at six in the morning and coming back at six at night. And that's not my normal routine and my eating window is within that time. So I, I eat my first meal at 9 a.m. and my last meal at 6 p.m. and I knew I was gonna be out the whole time. Now that might be the same for a lot of you. If you're commuting, you're out at six in the morning, back at six at night. So sometimes your diet and your what you eat, your meals, get a bit messed up. So normally I'm at home and I can food prep, cook before work and my meals are fine. But I anticipated that it would be a problem the old me would have just thought, I'll go and buy food when I'm out. I'll be able to find something, I'll buy some chicken or something decent. But in reality, what happens is you might not get to a shop for your norm normal meal time, or they might not have what you want and you get like, because I eat quite clean now, even chicken to me isn't good enough. I like to eat high quality beef. So I food prepped the night before. So everything I planned on eating that day I actually forgot to take some of it with me, which was a bit of a pain, but it just meant I ate less calories that day. But because I food prepped, at nine o'clock, I wasn't near a shop to get my breakfast, but I was able to just eat what I'd prepped. And then at 12 o'clock, my next meal, it was ready to go. So the system is, and everybody knows about food prep, that's nothing new, but it's putting the system in place because you could eat clean by going to the shop and buying food while you're out traveling but that's leaving it to chance and you have to make decisions you're in a shop you're in a food environment that's got chocolate bars cakes sandwiches that are nice things that aren't part of your plan so you have to make a choice and i did a previous um video about willpower willpower doesn't exist all you have is the choice to determine your environment so just you've if you say you eat three meals a day by not food prepping and planning ahead you're putting yourself in a food environment that's going to require you to in, have willpower three times so for breakfast lunch and dinner potentially so you're in the shop presented by all this stuff that you'd like to eat and you've got to choose to eat the chicken or the veg or the fruit i didn't have that because i took my water with me and i took my food with me i just go to the boot of the car get my lunch out no decision, I didn't have to use willpower. It was already done for me because I food prepped the night before. So some examples of systems. Another one is, so diet is very important to me at the moment. So I food prepped everything I was gonna eat in that day and took it with me. Another one um, was uploading YouTube videos is another one of my goals moving forward. So I pre-recorded yesterday's video and scheduled it to upload at a normal time. So that was ticked off. I didn't have to do that. Now I could have, so that's a system in place. I've put a system in place so that my, what I want to achieve in that day happens automatically. I don't have to think about it. At a time when you have time to do it. So yesterday I had time, uh, sort of the day before I had time, but yesterday I didn't. So I scheduled the upload, it was fine. Now I could have recorded a video on my phone and uploaded it while I was out and about because I did have sort of downtime while I was traveling but if I didn't get decent wi-fi or I couldn't have a place to record the video there were factors where I would have to choose certain things or if I was just really busy if I didn't have time to do it 
So I used a system to make that inevitable. Now I used to operate like, oh, I'll go out and I'll just buy decent, clean food. And it didn't end up working out like that. I would buy bad food. Or I'll say, oh, I'll record the video while I'm out. And then you get busy, you don't have time, and it doesn't get done. And that's how, I've spoke about compounding before, that's how you lose out on compounding. Because that one day, then tomorrow I've got two videos to make, or the diet's got to be extra clean, and then that puts pressure and you might not achieve it. So create systems. So I'll give you some examples of systems. And I guess this is your actionable step for creating systems. The first one is, this. you should do this exactly like do this as soon as I tell you, you should implement this straight away. Every human needs 2.4 litres of clean water, right? So my actionable step is, well, my system that I use, I, I implemented it yesterday. Every night I prep my water for the day before. So I've got three 800 mil bottles. They're metal because plastic uh, leaches bisphenol into your water, which is an estrogen, which isn't good for your hormones. So you want metal bottles and you want to use a water filter there's a whole like science behind water filter and I don't think anybody knows how filtered the water should be whether it should be reverse osmosis or whatever so I just use a normal jug filter that you can like get at your normal supermarket every night I fill up my free bottles and that's 2.4 litres that's what you require then that's set my system for the next day i've just got to drink the water i don't have to go to a shop and get a bottle and that's 500 mil and then oh, i can't remember did i have two bottles or do you know what i mean i've got my three bottles once they're all empty that's my water for the day at the end of the night before i go to bed i fill them all up for the next day so system one number one buy free metal water bottles now i would recommend if you you don't have to, you might have plastic bottles lying around or something, you might already have bottles. But another thing, like psychologically, if you invest money in something, you've got, you've invested in it, you've got skin in the game and you're more likely to do it. So I remember when I first implemented the water prep, I implemented it for me and my mum at the same time. I knew I would do it, but I ordered enough bottles for me and enough bottles for her. And it seems unnecessary they're, they're reusable surely you can just refill the same bottle but it's as a system it works so much better if you have the free bottles because you know once you've emptied all three you're done it's like an achievement you can refill one bottle but that isn't how i would recommend doing it so i remember when i bought them it's like quite expensive because they're high quality bottles but having made the investment you're more likely to use them so I would recommend getting my bottles are clean canteen. Now I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I would like to be in the future at some point because I believe in their product, it's very good. They do a sports cap, which is like that you sip from and they're absolutely terrible. They leak and they squeak and they're just not very good. And then they do a normal screw on lid, which is the one I use. So I can recommend that. I haven't used any of their other products, so I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, once you've bought these metal bottles, they're obviously better for you because they're not plastic leaking, like leaching estrogens into your water and they're very high quality. And once you buy them, you'll own them forever. So I, I don't mind investing in something that I could see me owning unless you drop it or dent it or something, but they're pretty robust. So go buy free 800 mil clean canteen metal water bottles I think some of them, one of them, it's even 80% recycled metal, so that's always good. Fill them up each night, drink them each day. That's system one for water, so that's hydration sorted. Once you implement that, me and my mum implemented it at the same time, and we've done it every day since. And regularly I will say to her, I'll like reinforce the fact, like reinforce good behaviour. I'm like, this is decent that we both do it. And we're both grateful because we're always hydrated no headaches or anything like that so i'll just wipe the wipe the rain wipe the rain off my lens one sec so that's system one system two is food prep so that's obvious i think you all know how to do that and why that's beneficial so you want to start prepping your food on days that you 
anticipate that you're not going to be able to just eat your normal meals. So you don't want to be putting yourself in environments where you've got to choose from one, like from bad foods and good foods, essentially. And then I gave the example of pre-uploading a YouTube video, so that's ticked off the list. So what else have we got? So yeah, I think that pretty much covers systems. You don't want to leave anything down to chance. You just want to make it so it's inevitable. If you carry out the system, the success you're after or the progress is going to be inevitable. So yeah, create systems. And this can be in any area. You should think of belief, right? So that might be religion for you. People go to church every Sunday because it's a system that helps them get the result they want in the belief or the faith area. So even going to work is a system. If I go to work at the same time every day, I'll earn a certain amount of money. So you do it already in loads of other areas. Um, and then you're just going to implement it with food, water, gym. Belief might be, I don't understand how the world works, so I need to read more books. And you would do that on a regular basis. And you say, you set a time where you've got like 20 minutes and you'll say at this time every day I'll read 10 pages of a book and that's a habit you're going to develop the skill of gaining more knowledge through reading so that's belief health we've covered wealth you might save on a certain day each month a certain amount so the way the two ways you gain wealth is increase earning capacity and spend less than you earn so saving is a part of that so you might say on the 15th of every month or the first of every month I'll save this amount that's a system 50 pound comes out of your bank without you questioning it relationships you might set aside this is like where date nights come in you might set a date night obviously you want to keep it um, you don't want to be too predictable with it so with with relationships it'll be a bit different but the act of having regular date nights or is gonna be the consistent system but I've had this comment before oh well if you systematize everything in your life you won't be you'll lose spontaneity and it'll be boring but some things just need to be systematized and create a system around I did hear a quote as well I don't know who this is from and I'm going to butcher it but it essentially said a man's life may look spontaneous but it is strict discipline that's made it look like that. So let me explain. If, you, if you've got no money, so say you want to be spontaneous. Let me just wipe this lens one sec. Say, for example, you want to be spontaneous and take a trip to Amsterdam for some sightseeing and you want to do that on a random day. You've got to have enough money to go and do that. So it looks spontaneous, oh, um, we're just randomly going to Amsterdam. But you've had a system in place, which is work a job or run a business consistently every day at the same time to earn enough money to then be spontaneous. So another example is my friend who has abs, right? He's in good shape, he's got low body fat. It seems like he can be spontaneous with his food. He can just eat a chocolate cake or a burger or whatever he wants, whenever he wants, seemingly. So that seems spontaneous, but it's because 90% of the time he follows a system which allows his body fat to be low. So any spontaneity is preceded by discipline and systems. It's spontaneity doesn't really exist. If, if you're spontaneous all the time, if he ate what he wanted all the time, he'd just be fat, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Or if you spend money on trips to Amsterdam all the time, you'd be broke. So that's not really, you, you have to have systems in place. But don't put systems in place. Like if you go on a date and you do the same thing every time, that gets predictable and it's not enjoyable for either you or the person you're dating. So there's time for systems and times for spontaneity, but most of the time you're going to be implementing systems. Same with sending your kid to school. That's a system that gets them the desired outcome. You don't just send them one day and not the next so i think you get the idea so yeah today's um sort of thing to implement is systems so your actionable step is 
buy free water bottles and water prep every day and do that for the rest of your life. Then choose other systems that get you the progress you're looking for. That could be read 10 pages of, book, of a book every day, food prep, picking set days and times to go to the gym. So obviously that's a system, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, go to the gym. Have a Go for a 30 minute walk every day at a certain point. So that's your actionable step. So yeah, that's the sort of the first part of the video for today. I'm gonna to start doing these in two sections. It'll be the kind of life lesson that I've learned and have implemented that might help you. And then the other, the, the second half is gonna be sort of like a vlog. And this is just for my future kids, if they watch this, they can like see what I'm getting up to and any of you that are interested, what I'm doing. So last couple of days, oh, one thing, we've just hit 100 subscribers. So that is a good milestone. And this kind of goes back to the point of start before you start. I've hit 100 subscribers on YouTube and I was gonna start doing videos on January the 1st. Now I already had 60, this is an old YouTube account that I started ages ago and I had subscribers from before so they're not all like new subscribers. About 45 subscribers are probably like new ones that are interested in this new content. But I was gonna start this on January the 1st and the first milestone is 100 and we've achieved that already before I've even started. So I'm, I'm entering the new year with like momentum from starting the YouTube channel. And I just wanna say I'm grateful for everybody that does subscribe and watch the videos if you find value in them because that's sort of why I'm making them. So, and I like seeing the comments and replying to you, to you guys. So yeah, very grateful, hit 100. The next milestone is 1,000 and I'll let you know when we get there. But yeah, I like the fact just to build a community. So get involved if you've got any feedback or anything, make sure you, you let me know. So yeah, hit 100 subscribers and that's starting before you start. So you might surprise yourself with like what you get done and get the momentum going. And you iron out certain issues. I now know certain things that work and that don't. It's still in the discovery phase with this channel, so I'm trying to figure out what you guys find valuable. But the more videos I put out, the more I figure that out. So yeah, that's that, 100 subscribers, that's decent. Um, I went to Core Abbey the other day, saw the pigs, and which is a local monastery uh, where, near where I live on the island. So, lit a candle my dog died fairly recently and then I had somebody else that I wanted to light a candle for so we went to Core Abbey and uh, lit a couple of candles but it's I've always had Core Abbey they've got like this I don't know what you'd call it it's like a chapel fit not a chapel there's like a little room around the back I don't like going in the main church because you like might bump into the monks and stuff like that but and I don't want to mess with their thing you are allowed to just go in there but I go around the back there's this room and you can light a candle, say a prayer, and they've got like a little book you can write in. I'll look next time I go, there's a sign that says what it's called. But when I've had like mental health problems in the past, it was always my anchor. I always used to go there and it's just a beautiful, it's brought, yeah, a lot of calm in times when I've needed it. So I always find that beneficial. But yeah, I went there, lit a couple of candles. Uh, went to Winchester yesterday and oh today we've just I've just got back from the Friday sea swim so we did that sauna afterwards so I'll at the end of this video I'll play the footage from the sea swim just so you know I am about it I do practice what I preach um, so yeah so yeah in this to sort of like put it in perspective I've practiced start before you start and systems so you know i do i do what i say um so yeah see you on the next one i'll play some footage of the sea swim oh yeah right
the knob has already gone. <laughs> it seems. <laughs> it, appears it appears I'm female now. Yeah, it appears. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't appear. It disappears, that's the problem. Oh shit. Jimmy boy. <laughs> My guy. <laughs> oh, this is quite feisty this morning, isn't it? Ah! She's a mother nature. Oh, it's like a warm bath, isn't it? Oh, the waves are. One move about the waves. Oh, yeah. That's good. Ah, you know. Ah. Oh, that's the one. Oh, I ain't quite hit the nuts yet. <laughs> oh, now it's hit the nuts. <laughs> Shit, the best. Oh, mate. <laughs> You know it's straight I away. Like, yeah, mate, you're like, yeah. But no, yeah. it's all the curves. <laughs> he was just telling me before you turned up, he bought this new razor and it shaved a little bit too close. Yeah. And yeah, he was like, yeah. I don't like it. That's the difference. <laughs> I'm normally packing bear hair. <laughs> bear hair, bro. Bear. Bear hair. Yeah, bear hair. Ah. Ah. Burn that brand for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> it burns fat, <laughs> but not the brown one. The other one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one keeps you warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to get rid of that. I think you've lost your brown fat. <laughs> oh, I think so. <laughs> You're looking cold, bro. No, I've just lost my actual fat. <laughs> Man's not fat, that's the problem. <laughs> We're both waiting for Shane to cool it. <laughs> Shane's going to France. <laughs> it does drag you when you float it. Yeah. Right, 10 for Wim Hof, I reckon.
called it. You normally walk out, focusing on the walk, and you get that rogue wave just get you, don't you? I feel a bit more grounded this time. Last time I was like even going into the uh, the heights. Yeah, yeah. I was a bit like, Ooh. yeah, yeah. But now I feel a bit more grounded. Morning. Yes, brother. Yeah, Boom. <sighs> yes, brother. Where does it go? Nobody knows. We'll find out when we get there. Where does it go? 